Hey, I'm James. Now, if you want to stream your radio show live to platforms like YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, I'm going to show you how you can create a live video stream using three different tools in this video. Why do we stream our show live via these platforms? Well, number one, I think video just adds another layer of interactivity to your radio show, which can be great, particularly you know, if you're a live DJ spinning those decks, or if you've perhaps got guests in and you want to see what their reaction is going to be in the studio. It allows your audience another way to connect and engage with your radio show. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you stream your whole show. You can even just stream a certain section of it. But these tools will make it super simple for you actually to go live on these platforms or even more than one of these platforms at once and also help you engage with your audience in real time. So let's dive into the computer. I want to show you three tools to broadcast your radio show live. Hey, just quickly before we get started with today's video, if you're new to this channel, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co and matchmaker.fm, all doing really interesting things in the audio space. If you like videos like this about radio, podcasting and all things media, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you receive updates whenever I make new videos like this one, which I really like making. Having said that, it's time for today's video. So let's get onto the computer and dive in. All right, so the first tool that I wanted to introduce you to, which has been really useful to me for uh, the last year or so, really since we started lockdown, all started working from home, is StreamYard.com. There's no reason you can't use this uh, as a tool to um, stream your radio show or your podcast live. The cool thing about this is it also records as well. Uh, it allows you to hook up a variety of services so you can connect it to Facebook Live, Twitter or Periscope, uh, YouTube Live and even LinkedIn as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see a past broadcast here and you can, of course, you can download these, uh, you can view them. So for example, you'll, you'll see here, we do a lot of our live streams. So we'll do radio.co and podcast.co ask me anything uh, and you know we engage with our audiences so if I just quickly demo it to you here um, as you can see we've already got a lot of our social media accounts hooked up um, so it's just a case of selecting you know which channels you wish to actually go live on as you can see you can have I think up to five different uh, social media accounts selected at once on the plan that we're on or if you want to just go live uh, to one channel then you can just do that as well so let's say I want to go live on my Facebook I'll give this a uh, title so I'll say you know James is going live and obviously description you know uh, join James for some great conversation whatever okay easy peasy just the sort of stuff that comes up when you actually see that live stream it's metadata for Facebook uh, and likewise you know you can uh, you can have this on on Twitter you on LinkedIn etc um, you can also schedule it for a specific time and you can actually upload a thumbnail image which is great so if you're scheduling let's say you've got a special guest who's coming onto your radio show you want to broadcast that and you know exactly when that guest is going to be there they might be say on a tuesday at 6 p.m or you just you could say okay well let's let's schedule that for next tuesday you know at 6 p.m you can upload a thumbnail image which is like a little teaser image and that will actually show up right on your facebook page which is a great idea people can then remind themselves to be notified when that event is actually occurring which is really good helps you gain that traction and then once we're happy with that we can just simply press create broadcast now i'm not actually going to broadcast live right now i'm just going to choose skip record only and we'll just call this test because obviously i don't want to just be broadcasting this stuff right now to my facebook page um and i just wanted to basically talk you through the studio so firstly this is always important whatever software you're using to stream your radio show live make sure you've got the right camera and microphone selected or if you're broadcasting perhaps from like a desk or something like the Rodecaster Pro make sure you have the right audio device selected so you'll see here I've got my webcam you know again I've got the built-in camera which is not great quality or I've got a slightly better webcam uh, you know again you can um, there's some different advanced options here you can choose the quality I'm gonna go for the highest possible audio again I want to want to make sure that I've selected my audio interface make sure that the default sometimes can often be the uh, built-in microphone on your computer which won't sound great if you're broadcasting uh, you know through a decent quality microphone like I am now so make sure you've got the right device selected okay once all that's done uh, again you can even do fancy green screen stuff uh, I don't think this will work because I don't actually have a green screen behind me but 
you know you can do that as well if you want to and once we're happy we can enter the broadcast studio um let me just put myself here so you can see this is great um you can see these different layouts okay so this is perfect for if you want to teleconference a guest in and this will work you know if you're broadcasting live on your radio show you can actually take the output from this and then restream it but also it's really good because you can actually just give them a link so if i copy this link here uh, and let's just say I paste this into a new tab. So this is what the guest effectively will see if they were just going to be joining as a guest, very much as similar to you. So this is what the guest effectively will see if they were just going to be joining as a guest, very much as similar to you. And then, it, you know, you can see I've actually got, oh, I've got a bit of echo coming out my speaker, so let's just mute that. Uh, so I've actually, if I, if I add myself to the stream, okay, I'm my own guest right now, so it's kind of weird. But you can see how you can do different things here. Uh, you can actually have multiple guests on and you can also share your own screen as well. So, uh, oh yeah, forgot to mention, not to mention, there's also lots of brand options as well. Um, so if you want to, for example, uh, change the background, um, let's say, you know, you want to stick up uh, an image, you can do that. So this is some of the things we've been doing, um, which is really useful. You can even play little... Uh, little 30 second radio clips on video which is good you can have a countdown timer let's say we've got a countdown here there we go so yeah say your stream is starting in 20 30 seconds this is always really really good just to keep people informed and you can also set different backgrounds too so uh, if i just take this off currently you see this orange this is for podcast.co this was like when we had the radio.co request show so you can even upload your own backgrounds as well so let's say i want to start like this I could actually put this right here. Uh, so this tool gives you so much flexibility and it's all browser based. So you don't have to download and install any software. You're just managing it from your browser. It's really good for live streams if you're just on your own. It's really good if you have a guest on. And um, you know, I think it's a fantastic tool to actually broadcast live to multiple platforms at once. Okay, so the next tool I wanted to show you, which is a really great sort of Swiss army knife for live streaming, uh, especially when it comes to video to social media platforms, is Restream.io. Now Restream, um, we've probably been using for about three years. We used to use it when we did uh, desktop based broadcasting using OBS from MCR Live, which was a radio station that we ran for a couple of years, which was great fun. I'm gonna be showing you OBS in the next video and I'll, I'll kind of explain how these link in. Uh, but basically this is one destination that you can stream to and it will then push it out to most common social media channels. So things like Twitch, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all of the rest of them. In fact, I think they do uh, over 30 different destinations or something it says here. I don't even know 30 uh, video streaming destinations, but I'm sure there are. They also have a studio product, which is very similar to um, StreamYard, which I've obviously just walked you through. So let's just quickly log in. Um, the difference mainly here is, is you have this RMTP connection, which is really good if you're using desktop software to stream something like OBS, which I'm gonna cover off in the next segment of this video. Uh, but you can also, as I say, use the live studio, which is pretty similar to uh, what we looked at before. Uh, but you know, you can you can do all the other stuff that you can do to StreamYard. So you can play like video clips, which look kind of fancy, and uh, you know, countdown timers and all this kind of stuff. You know, lots and lots of tools uh, available on both these services. Again, this is one of the things that I, I sort of uh, missed out on StreamYard, but you can also do little overlays which have captions below your video, all this sort of stuff. I really wanted to make this video brief, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but you can kind of go and figure it out. I just wanted to talk you through a couple of the other features of Restream, which is Restream offers that uh, StreamYard doesn't. Again, you know, you have these multiple destinations that you can stream out to, which is great. You can uh, stream into the service using RTMP, which I'll cover off in the next section. You can also uh, schedule events. One of the other things which I think is really good uh, is you can actually upload a, a video and have it streamed as if it were going out live. So if you record an interview in advance, which let's be honest with radio, a lot of the time we do, you can actually stream it as if it's going out at the time. Really, really useful um, and again, Kind of creates a sense of it being an event even though it's perhaps recorded in advance so again you could schedule uh, live streams you can schedule recorded videos as well kind of similar to how radio.co works really uh, but specifically focused on, on like video streaming for the social media platforms so pretty really useful tool uh, as i say it's kind of a little bit more clunky and maybe not as user friendly as uh, Streamyard. however does offer some more advanced functionality 
and it works really, really well if you're using OBS as a desktop tool, which is what I'm gonna show you next. The final tool I wanted to introduce you to is called OBS Studio. Now this is an open source, it's a free tool. You can download it for both Windows and Mac. Um, it's desktop software, unlike the last two tools, which are sort of web-based software. Um, and this is really a powerful bit of kit. Like, this is one of these tools that you should really get your head around, even if you don't need to use it right now. As a broadcaster or as someone who works in streaming media and radio, if you can learn how to use this, I guarantee there'll be some point in your career where you think, well, I need a tool that does this. So this is just kind of like, it's been around for years. It's really powerful. It's kind of the industry standard um, and it's great for doing video, live video casts from anywhere to anywhere. The um, software is not the most user friendly. It's quite technical. Um, I'm kind of just gonna take you through a very basic setup today. It works great if you wanna stream directly to Facebook or YouTube. Uh, why you might want to combine it with a service like Restream is if you want to output to multiple destinations because you only send out one stream and it will actually fire out off to Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, so on and so forth. So I'll quickly show you how to co copy this. Uh, first of all, we need to copy the um, this destination, RMTP URL. So this is very much just like if you're setting up Shoutcast Encoder to broadcast to radio.co, something like that. And we can actually paste the, this in here. So uh, I've actually selected, if I, if I select custom, I'd paste this link in, but if, if I've got Restream as an option, I will just uh, give the stream key, which is like a, effectively like a password. So this is our stream key. Uh, so let's just copy that across and I'll paste the stream key here. Right, so once that's done, uh, I can click next and it will test my bandwidth, which will all be fine. Okay, we're happy with those settings, we'll apply them. Now what I need to do is um, I need to add a source to my scene. Now the cool thing about this is you can have multiple scenes. So I'm gonna have two scenes here. Um, I'm gonna have one scene which is my first camera, which is my Logi tech camera, and a second a scene just for purposes of this demonstration, which is like the built-in a camera on my uh, computer, on my iMac. So let's add my Logitech in here. So I'll first of all want to um, choose an input capture and I'll want to select uh, whatever my input is going to be. So it might be an external hard drive or a mixing desk such as the Rodecaster. You need to remember to specify uh, a, a, an audio input firstly for each of these scenes so people can hear what is actually being broadcast on air. And we'll do the same on here. Um, I'm, I'm recording via Audient ID4 interface, so that's what I want on both of these. The second thing we're going to do is add a video capture device. Okay, so we're just going to give this again a default name. We're going to choose my FaceTime camera, which is just my built-in uh, webcam, as you can see here. Looking great. And the cool thing about this is you can actually build up layers. So, if, for example, if you wanted to have, uh, I don't know, if you want to have some text, you can add some text over the top, all right? Okay. Right, so this is just, uh, you know, really designed. You could probably obviously do a better job of this, but you can basically move these elements around and position them on your canvas. If you see this canvas as like a, a, the video screen, uh, you, you, can, you can have, for example, multiple video things. Uh, you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. It's really like uh, up to you how you design this stuff. You could make it look like a proper sort of TV newscast if you have the time and you wanted to. I don't have the time today because it's just a quick demo, but you can do all sorts of stuff with this. So if I click back onto scene, uh, obviously that's scene two, I've just set it up. If I go back onto scene, I'm gonna add my other webcam. So we're going down again, which is video capture device, and we'll select uh, my Logitech stream cam, which is like slightly better quality. So let's just toggle between these. You'll be able to clearly see the difference. So if I now go between that, that's my default web camera. And that is my Logitech stream cam, which is obviously better quality. It looks nice, doesn't it? Of course, in a radio setup, you're not gonna have two webcams, which are basically in the same sort of position. What you probably do is have one angle and another angle. So let's just say, let's just move this along here. So perhaps I'm at a slightly different angle. So there we go. So hey ho, I'm now looking at his camera one and now I'm on camera two. And you can actually set these to automatically rotate, which is one thing that we used to use commonly when we were actually doing live streams uh, from our studio. Um, we'd have them so they would move around. We'd have one maybe looking down on top of the decks for the DJ. We'd have one which was looking at the person's face, one that was just looking at the guest. Again, you can move the cameras around the studio, position them how you need. Um, and it, you, or you can have even someone sat here manually controlling this, okay? Um, it's completely up to you how you use it. I wanted to just give you a quick demo of this software. 
so this is pretty much all we've got time for right now um, but you know in another video what I wanted to do is give you more of an advanced setup maybe talk about how we can actually use this in conjunction with a hardware switcher which is a, a device where you can actually plug cameras into hopefully this video has just given you some ideas really of how you can actually broadcast your video out to the social media platforms which is great when you're doing it in conjunction with a live radio broadcast as well so there we go three tools that make it super straightforward to broadcast live to facebook twitter youtube etc now if you have any questions or comments about the tools mentioned or perhaps you're thinking about doing a live broadcast for your radio show put them in the comments below love to help you out uh, always making new videos like this as well. So if you've got any other ideas of content that you think I should be making for you, please leave me a comment. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Okay, take it easy and I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now. What makes the difference between a successful radio station and a failed project? Well, after working with tens of thousands of broadcasters over the past 15 years, and helping lots of people start their own radio stations, I see the same mistakes being made time and time again. So what I've done is I've put together a guide called the Five Step Radio Startup Checklist, which really covers everything from concepting your radio station to marketing it. And this guide, I believe, will make the difference between you having a successful venture with longevity and creating something that doesn't quite hit the mark. Go and grab your copy now for free at jamesm.com slash radio. Just enter your name and your email address and I'll send it over to you straight away. You're going to find it really useful. There's tons of information there which will help you with concepting and launching your brand and bringing it to market.